So in render room we have our skull tree on the left, so I can hide and unhide stuff. Then we have our shaders at the bottom, so if I right click and apply to visible, I can switch between shaders on the fly. Then we can turn on and off the real-time render. And you can see here we have render engine, it's really called hardware or render man. Render man is not actually installed here, you have to install a plugin and it's currently not really supported and even when it was supported it wasn't really that convenient to use. We have all the screen stuff that we should better to turn it on for better render. Then we have, you, you can render it to a file. I really normally just do screen grabs because all the rendering I do in 3D code, they're just presentational renders. Uh, so the values here, they're different from what you have. So maybe your exposure can be a little bit too low and you wanna go and bump it up to something like 66 and such. So then we have fog. Fog is a bit hard to manipulate. You have to play around with the values if you want to introduce fog. You do have the depth of field. If I say put it at four and click show the depth of field uh, plane, then I can start uh, moving this stuff around and trying to see if I can get the DOF uh, looking good or not. And now I'm just clicking actually fog density. And it, uh, it is pretty finicky, you have to move it around and adjust quite a bit. And honestly, I don't really do it because again, end of the day, if you want to get a really good render, you want to use either like a Redshift, Octane, uh, or blend, even Blender Cycles, we do a better job than this. Uh, then another one here. So if I delete, now I have this panel to add lights. So I can create and add new, a new light. I'll put the density at like one. One is too much, so I'll put it at 0.5 and then I can do rotation using the rotation angle. Light scattering is quite important because it will change how harsh your shadows are. And you can add another light as well and it can change the light uh, uh, coloring so you can have a bit of a, let's, let's do a bit of a disco lighting right here. And I'll just rotate this so you can have some whatever creative render out of this uh, um, room. And that's really the basic of it, basics of it, and there's not much to it.